Hey, I'm Ramona, and I'm about to show you something shocking. So take a deep breath and watch the following video. Hi, I am Samantha. Samsung's Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus are the newest of the Samsung Galaxy mobile phones and Mashable senior tech correspondent Ray Wong previewed the cell phones and we found his comments to be very interesting. He said that the cell phone giant, Samsung has been inching closer and closer towards the ultimate smartphone for years, but always came up short. To continue with the full story, here is an avatar like me, Kendra. Hi, I am Kendra and will be your human-like voice for this amazing video for the Samsung Galaxy Mobile Phones S9 and S9 Plus series. But as he said, not this year because Samsung nailed everything on the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus making the new Galaxy models look pretty similar to last year's Galaxy S8. However, he said, that's not necessarily a bad thing. The senior tech correspondent pointed out that Samsung finally made some iconic phones that rival the iPhone on build quality. The phones are still super slippery and they pick up fingerprints really easily. But if you're worried about that, just get a case. Otherwise, the phones are gorgeous and they feel fantastic. According to Samsung, the S9's big upgrade is the reimagined camera. The new camera takes better photos and videos. But what is really impressive are all the little details that Samsung got right in the rest of the phone. Things like putting the fingerprint sensor in the right spot on the back of the phone, or finally including stereo speakers for louder and crisper sound. There's also a really nice feature called Intelligent Scan which lets you use both the face unlock and the iris scanner at the same time. Like on the S8, it was only possible to use one or the other. The emoji are fantastic. And the feature lets you turn your selfies into GIFs or stickers that you can send to your friends or share on social media. You can say that is basically Samsung's answer to Apple's an emoji. Some people think they're creepy and weird. But, personally there is fun and you can add quirky to the list. And the an emoji can be seen as very personable. For the score on the camera, you can add it as much better. For the first time on any smartphone, the camera has two aperture settings. One for low light shots and one for daylight photos. In auto mode, the camera automatically switches between the two apertures depending on the lighting conditions. The photos look really great with rich colors and sharp details, and low light shots are definitely improved. Selfies look pretty nice too. If you're into that kind of thing. But I wouldn't say the S9's cameras are significantly better than the iPhone X or Google Pixel 2. Another interesting new feature is the camera on the new Samsung S9 models is the super slow motion capture. The video mode shoots at 960 frames per second, which is four times faster than the iPhone slow mo. It's pretty fun to play with at first, but it gets old pretty fast. If you really care about the camera, getting the S9 Plus is the deal which has a secondary camera for those sweet portrait shots. While the phone's design hasn't changed much. But ask yourself, does it even matter? But it's better have a phone that's faster and has better cameras, and still has staples like a headphone jack, wireless charging, and water resistance instead of a phone that looks new for the first few days. Introducing the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Pre-order now save up to $450, save up to $100 on the Samsung Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus with pre-order and qualified activation. Plus, save up to an additional $350 with a qualifying trade-in. Trade-in offers in store only. Minimum savings is $50. Terms and conditions apply. Visit your local Best Buy store and save big from this pre-order promotion.